and thanks so much for joining me for my September haul and favorites. If you'd like to see that, please keep watching. So this month, there are a lot of new things coming out, so I always say, I don't think there's going to be anything I want to pick up this month and then inevitably there is something to pick up. So starting with Victoria Beckham Beauty, they released eyes and I think it was just eyes. So there were some bricks like these, eyeliners, and then some shimmery colors you could put on top of there. And I picked up this one because you helped me pick this out. I put it on Instagram stories, asked you which one you wanted to see because honestly, I wanted all of them, but I was only going to buy one to begin with just to see how it goes. Um, but I can tell you already I'm interested in the other ones because this one went so well. I'll be posting that video. I think that'll be in the next video, so look for that. But I actually have all of those shades on right now. Um, this one is in Signature, so it's got um, beautiful, four beautiful colors in there. The packaging here is exquisite. It might be my favorite packaging that I've seen come by. I don't know what I'll do with this when it's empty, but I feel like it's beautiful enough that you could use as just a mirror in your handbag or later, just because I mean, it's so sleek and just the size is really beautiful and I love this tortoiseshell look on the front. I also picked up one eyeliner to start with and I picked up the one in Bordeaux because I've been loving the um, NARS one in Mambo and it has a little bit of a reddish hue in it. So this one is very burgundy shaded. Again, it's called Bordeaux and I paired it with that brick even though it doesn't necessarily seem like it would go but I was able to make them work together. So this one, uh, I think there are three shades right now. There's a black one and then there's a um, like a bronzy shaded one. Something that she put in her waterline, which is what I do anyway with a shimmery color. So I think I'm gonna get both of those as well. I started with this and because of its performance that it made me want to purchase the other ones. And then it has a smudger on the other end, which is really nice for that imperfect perfect kind of eyeliner that she is known for. So. I really am enjoying this one. Hourglass has come out with their palette again for the fifth year in a row. This is something I've collected since the very beginning, since they started making these, so I couldn't pass this one up. I did make a video on this. I've got them all on right now. So you're gonna wanna tune in to see what that looks like on my skin tone in case you're interested in this. Um, and then I give you a little bit more information just on my recommendation for this if you are interested in it. But here, I mean, here are all the colors on right now if you just wanted to take a quick preview. But what I can say is that the performance of these are consistent with the rest of the Hourglass products and I think that they do powder products really, really well. Speaking of palettes and holidays, I went to the Sephora like holiday preview. They only had about six to eight things that were new. Um, so I did pick these up because, I don't know, they looked interesting. Actually, I've been looking for a blush that's more matte. I have a lot of shimmery blushes, kind of like the ones in the Hourglass palette. So I was looking for more matte shades. So this is, let me just show you what it is. It's the NARS palette that Sephora has. And this is what it looks like. I tried to see if these little things come off because I don't love glitter and they don't seem to flake off. So <laughs> I think you're okay there if you're like me and don't want glitter all over the place. But there were some beautiful matte shades in here. So I'll be doing a look with these as well. Um, these three are matte. That's a shimmer. That's actually one of my favorite ones in Luster. That is a beautiful one. And then, um, yeah, I've just kind of been playing around these to see how they work on my skin tone. I liked that most of them pulled warmer. This one is a little bit cooler, but for the most part, you can see that there's a little bit of warmth in each one of these. So I've been using that one as well. So happy I picked that one up. I also picked up you know what a fan I am of the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eyeshadows. Did I say that right for once in my life? Yes, Caviar Stick Eye Colors. Huh. Um, so there's a little mini one. There are four shades in there. And I was excited because, gosh, one of them looked really, oh, actually, now I remember. This pink one was one I was really excited about because there's a look that NARS did, gosh, probably over five years ago, but it was a beautiful, creamy, pink, eyeshadow stick that they paired with a brown eyeliner that I thought was really pretty. So this one had the pink one in there, but I think there must be something in their pink shades that irritates my skin on my eyes because I also have like a liquidy kind of uh, eyeshadow from them that I didn't use on camera because the first time I used it, it 
irritated my eyes as well. And I had the same sensation with this one. Um, also this one, I'll show you a close up of this swatch, but it's not a very even application on this pink one. So I don't know what it is with pink and why I can't get it to work, but it's a little bit like uneven. Yeah, it doesn't glide as well as the other three. So I've said it before, the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick eye colors are not made equally. So depending on the shade you get, you'll get a better performance out of it versus other shades. So for instance, this one is in metallic taupe. This one is stunning though. This one has a very even application. I'll do some um, close-ups if this doesn't work, but see how this doesn't have the same kind of reflective quality. It's not as even. It looks kind of like, I don't know, it gets bunched up. This one is super even and has that really nice foil kind of metallic shimmer, which it should, and this pink just doesn't have the same quality. So this one is beautiful. Again, metallic taupe. This one is um, intense moonlight. So there's that one. Also really beautiful though. That one's even going on. Doesn't irritate my eyes. And then this one is intense amethyst. I think it was you, Alini, who noticed, and it's not Alini, you'll have to let me know, but you noticed it was looked similar to the by Terry Ombre Black Stars, which I thought too, once I swatched them, like this really reminded me, I think it's, oh gosh, I wish I could remember the name of it, but it reminds me of one of the, one of the shades that they have. Can't remember, but this one especially does. And then this pink one just doesn't work. I don't know. I mean, you can see it right off the bat how these all catch light and this one's kind of like meh, not as great. So um, the one that I really, I really just wanted it for this one and that's the one that didn't work, but I will use these three, of course. So I hope that helps you if you were interested in that one. Just don't, just don't be disappointed with the pink one because it, I'm already telling you I was disappointed. So, so now you don't have to be disappointed. <laughs> What else? Ooh, yes. So I mentioned I was going to pick up the Guerlain um, meteorites in medium, and I did. So here it is. I mean, it's exact. Oh, sorry, that's loud. It looks exactly like the packaging, and yes, um, I did try this just on its own, and it is a much better match for me than this other one, the deeper one. I'll show you side by side. So you can see there's a lot more like hot pink ones in here, and those deeper brown ones are in there. Um, this one, I mean, it looks like quite the jump between the two of these, doesn't it? So what I can do, I'm trying to think. I do wanna customize these, so I do wanna put the shades together that I think will make the best combination. This one's very nice. Now one thing about meteorites is that I noticed there's a visible sheen on your skin once it's on there that is more visible in real life than say the Hourglass ambient lighting powders, at least on my skin. It's like almost a silvery hue. Let me know if you've seen that, but that's like when I wear this one, my husband does notice that I have something on my face compared to the hourglass. When I wear that, he doesn't notice that. He doesn't ask what's on my face, but when I wear this, he'll ask what I'm wearing. Not a bad thing, it's just more visible. It's more apparent that I'm wearing something, I guess is the way to say it. Uh, something I've been loving is the shocking is this i'm surprised look at i'm hitting pan and this is not that old it's the color science natural pressed natural finish press foundation in medium sand spf 20. i've just been using it on top of my powder and then before my um uh ambient lighting powder and radiant light by hourglass it's a little bit deep though so i wonder if i should go with the next shade lighter the next time i buy this someone asked me about the glow I need to ask my friend Mandy about those glow products because she has a lot of experience. So maybe I'll ask her how they compare and then maybe she can guide me to the to the one that would work for me. So interested in that, but I, as you can see, I'm using this. Anything with SPF I'm going to use up because I try and stay out of the sun as much as possible. And thank you for the questions about my skin looking much better. Um, I will update you on what I've been doing. Basically, in a nutshell, what it is is lots of exfoliating and lots of sunscreen um, and try not to eat as much sugar because I know I've read sugar can impact discoloration on your skin because it kind of feeds it. I'm not sure of the science behind it, but also staying away from sugar and drinking lots of water. So I think all of those in tandem are helping. I have lots of 
um, brightening types of things and I'm not willing to take one out to see if that's the thing that's doing it or not. I'm not willing to experiment that far, but I can share with you the things that I've been doing. So I will put that video together for you. So thank you for noticing and for asking. Just a caveat, my skin is always flaking. Just because I'm using so many things on it, it just is flaking, but that's okay. I'm willing to put up with that. So I picked this up. I'm not a huge Mac fan, but I know it's like a Rosetta stone in terms of foundation, um, like how to compare foundations. So I got rematched because I felt like I felt like I wasn't quite sure and that I was much lighter than I've been. So um, we were actually talking NC30, but and landed on NC35. So this one seems to be the best match. It's the Studio Waterweight SPF 30 foundation. It's really nice. It kind of reminds me of the Clay de Peau Radiant Fluid Foundation. It also reminds me of a Smashbox foundation that I had. It was more like a skin tint with SPF 30 in it. Really nice. I don't really use it. It does, um, only thing it does is that it catches kind of, again, on those dry areas where their flaking occurs. It does settle in just slightly into fine lines if I don't prep correctly. So it's not as easy to use as I thought it would be, but I got it just for mainly reference. Speaking of discoloration, which is something that I seem to talk a lot about, I was reading an article by Color Science. Of course, they're going to be advertising for their products in it as well. They were talking about hyperpigmentation, melasma, um, but they did, of course, talk about sunscreen and even up, which is what I already use. But then this popped up. You know how much I love, oh, you know how much I love this and I brought this just because it is continuing to be a favorite of mine. Game changer and favorite. It's the Magic Vanish in two medium. I can't say enough about it. I use this mainly on my darker spots, which are in the center of my face, which are more oily. So it seemed to do better onto more color correcting. I thought, wouldn't it be nice if there was a powder, like a powdery color, color corrector? And then, okay, let's circle back. <laughs> the Color Science article, they mentioned this. It's the Mineral Corrector Kit. So it's for all kinds of discoloration, including like broken capillaries. Um, and it tells you on, well, there's a little insert. Oh, it tells you back here. One lightens red tones, two corrects red tones, three covers blue and brown tones, four corrects dark blue tones, and five covers yellow and green. So I got this yesterday and I tried it on my bare skin and it was really quite amazing what it did because I just had moisturizer and I was ready to kind of go to sleep, but this came, so I wanted to try it. So what I noticed is that it has a really nice texture about it since there's no um, liquid in there. It doesn't create as much of a texture. So it lays really flat to the skin. Coverage is really quite substantial, um, even though it doesn't look like it would be. Only thing, only thing, and I looked, and I'll have to check and let me know if you know anything about this, but I wish the range was better. I mean, no, no, not better. I wish the range was more broad because I'm barely able to use this with my coloring. If I was any deeper, this would not work for me because all of the tones are just like medium to light, I think, medium to fair. Um, so I wish there was one, even if they came out with this one, but a little bit deeper, I think that would solve my problem. But I was just like, wow, this is, I think this is one of those things get, that could potentially be game changing for me um, because when I put it on my skin, and I think my skin's in really great shape except for those dark areas. Like, if I could just go out and not put makeup on, like, and just show this part of my skin, I'd be so happy. So I just covered up, it was like my bare skin, like I said, moisturizer, and then I just patted this on those dark, very strategically, and I was like, oh my gosh, my skin, it actually looks okay. So I would definitely go out without any makeup on, and just this, if it was the right color though. So that's the only thing. It's just, I need a little bit more deep shade in terms of this. If I compare this with the Charlotte Tilbury, Tilbury, it's just slightly, I mean, it's almost the same, but it just needs a little bit more deepness to it. And I tried mixing some of the darker colors that are in here, but then it goes kind of like pink and then it's just not right. So, but if you are any, more fair than me, you're gonna love this. So if you have any melasma or anything like that and you are my shade slightly lighter than my shade, you're going to love that because it, I was amazed at what it could do. So I'll be on the hunt now for maybe other brands that do something like this in a more powdery form. Plus it's SPF 20, water resistant as well. And I noticed 
like I put eye drops in and it kind of rolled down my face and it didn't disturb it. So really lightweight, but substantial color correcting. So yeah, I don't know why I didn't try that earlier. Back on track, I did pick up this NARS, another high pigment long wear eyeliner. This is the third one. I think I have like half of the new ones now. I picked up Mulholland Drive, I picked up Mambo, and now this one is in Last Frontier and it's a nice cool brown color. So I have it in the waterline right now. It looks almost black, but it's not as stark as black. It's not as harsh as black. So really beautiful. I love the texture on these. They glide on really nicely, so can't recommend these enough. I wanted to get a cooler eyeliner to go with the Victoria Beckham little brick that I have. Now it's on the floor. Um, oh, the Victoria Beckham brick because it is a cooler brown. Um, gosh, that suede color almost pulls a little bit gray on me actually. So I did want to try it with that as well. And Victoria Beckham doesn't have a brown eyeliner, which I was surprised about. So I got that one instead. I want to update you on this airbrush flawless finish. Um, I have been taking maybe like a quarter pump. I don't know what I'm taking out because I'm not going to put it on now, but I put like a quarter pump and then I take this brush. It's a flat, that's my stomach. This is a flat foundation brush by Trish McAvoy, which is so old. Like how old is this brush? It must be 20 years old, uh, but it's acts like a concealer brush because I love a flat concealer brush and then just taking it on my brush, patting it flat and patting it like this right here in the center of my face. So this area, this area, this area, not my nose, but these areas right here. So that just helps to kind of just put a nice layer down and then I've been color correcting concealing on top of that because this doesn't move. This is uh, again in seven. It doesn't move. It's like a really great primer slash foundation. So the fact that it doesn't move around is great because it's still really warm here. So I've just, like I said, been patting that in the middle very, very lightly and then I don't put foundation on the exterior. It's mostly to get everything to stick to my face like concealers um, and color corrector. I wanted to update you also on the Armani Prima. I didn't love this in the video that I did, but I thought I'm going to use it. So what I've been doing, because I also bought this, um, so these two products were featured, I think in the last month. This is the Laura Mercier um, Tinted Moisturizer in Illuminating SPF 30. And this is in Warm Radiance and it's too deep. So I've been taking maybe a third of this and two thirds of this and mixing them together and then wearing them daily because I am going to use them up. So I was not using this because it was too deep and I was not using this because it was too light. And so then I put them together. Also, I don't really love the finish on this because it does catch on those flaky parts of my um, face where my skin's flaking off because of all the exfoliating. And this one is really nice and emollient. I think I forgot to mention that. This does not snag on any of those um, things that are happening on our skin, whether it's dry patches or flakiness. Um, I read somewhere that someone had some other skin things they were dealing with and it didn't highlight that. So if you deal with skin issues like the foundation I wore today, which is the hourglass one, it was a little tester that I tried out, um, it did catch on those dry areas. This doesn't do that. So if you are having trouble with that, this doesn't emphasize them. And it also keeps them from kind of being a parent during the day. So another great thing about this that I think I forgot to mention, but these two together are working just fine. So just wanted to let you know if you have this, because a few of you said you had it and were disappointed with it too, like me. I've been used, able to use it for the SPF aspect of it um, and then also make sure it's not wasted. And then I was able to bring this in, which I wasn't using because it was too deep. So together they work actually pretty well together. There's more coverage with this as well. This one's lightweight in terms of its coverage. So this one kind of makes up for it in the more, uh, it's more like a medium coverage with this one. This one's different, definitely. And this one's definitely a light coverage. Another uh, lipstick I've been loving is the Tom Ford Indian Rose. I don't have it on right now, but this one is beautiful. I've been playing for this one quite a bit. I'm trying to use my Tom Ford lipsticks. Like that's not bad because I tend to be so careful with them that I don't use them up and then that's a waste as well. So I'm really trying to use them to get my money's worth out of them and plus they're really, really pretty. So I have a list of items that I'll be purchasing 
including some Chantecaille and more Victoria Beckham this month, but if you can think of something that you'd like me to try out for you, let me know. I know there are so many luxury channels out there that feature similar things, and maybe you wanna see it again on someone else, or maybe you're tired of hearing about it, so let me know. I'm not quite sure. Sometimes I see like everyone's doing a video on such and such product and then I feel like, oh, well, I don't need to pick it up because they already did videos on it or let me know if you want to just hear my perspective on it because I'd be happy to do that as well. But if there is something specific that you want me to try and look into, I will definitely consider it. So please let me know what those things are. Again, I do have the Victoria Beckham products on as well as the Hourglass products on. I just filmed both of those videos. So if you notice the flowers, they'll probably show up in two other videos because I just did three videos today. So if you are interested in any of those products, make sure you are subscribed because those will be coming up fairly quickly in the next week or two. So make sure you are on the lookout for those. So if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.